Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in the introduction video to Sigma Notation, I promised that there'd be two sets of practices. And so here's the first set, uh, which we titled Practice Part 1. Uh, practice Part 1 will have five total examples, and so we'll look at five pretty challenging problems. And then uh, in the second set, Practice Part 2, there'll be five additional uh, examples, and those are significantly more challenging. Uh, but uh, trust me, uh, the uh, problems here in this first practice set are adequately challenging, especially if you've never worked with sigma notation before. All right, so uh, let's get started. Example one, and here's the problem we have to solve. So it says, right using sigma notation, this sum, this. Yeah? Okay, cool. Now, um, first, we know that we need to have a sigma, right? All right, uh, but after we write sigma, what do we do? Well, um, we see that this plus sine, and then this plus sine, and then this plus sine are from sigma. So we see that the expression inside of sigma is just one fraction. It's something divided by something. That's what we're adding, right? Okay, cool. Uh, additionally, we see that in each fraction, right, in each fraction, the denominator is one more than the numerator. The denominator is one more than the numerator in each fraction. So if our numerator is called k, then our denominator needs to be k plus 1. So inside of sigma, we need to have a single fraction uh, where if the numerator is called k, the denominator is k plus 1. Now, last but not least, we need to know where to start and where to end. We see that our start is 1. So if our variable is k, then we start with k equals 1, and notice that we end with k equals 4. That's because our fraction would be k divided by k plus 1, so when k is 4, we get this 5 that we want. So we start with 1 and we end with 4 as opposed to 5, yeah? All right, all right, cool. So um, the final answer then in this case has to be this. All right, uh, this is the first example. And example two will be much more difficult than example one and example three, uh, similarly more difficult than example two and yada yada. So uh, keep watching and I hope you enjoyed this as a first problem. Yeah. All right. Cool. Take care.